Hey guys, Kayvon here from Sony at the beautiful Cinematech showroom here in South Florida. And today we're gonna to be going over Sony's crystal LED modular display. As you see behind me, a massive display. And we wanna chat with you about not only what this display is, but how to get it quoted for your customers. So let's get into it. All right, y'all, behind me, we have a 193 inch 16 by nine CH crystal LED modular display. And what makes this display so special is that it's more contrast focused, it has a gloss finish, and it hits 1300 nits of brightness. This makes it great for residential application and truly makes it an OLED that you can scale as large as you want. We can achieve some of the contrasts that Sony's best TVs are able to accomplish without the limitation of size. This technology is so sought after that our professional movie studios actually use the commercial application, which also comes in a 1.2 and 1.5 pixel pitch for virtual production, allowing actors to see exactly what is in their environment, thus bringing out their acting ability that much more. Now, what makes the Sony special in the terms of comparing it to other modular video applications is that we're solving a lot of the problems that have to do with motion, banding, and quite frankly, just looking like a video wall. The contrast that this CLED is able to achieve allows for application in a theater environment or media room. You can go 16 by nine, 235, 240, or do a full wraparound if you want to with a proper video scaler. The possibilities are truly limitless. We also have a mounting solution available from Peerless or Chief that we can work into pricing whenever we get the quote out to you. Now that we've gone over both the commercial and residential application, let's chat about how to get this properly quoted for our clients in the field. Now, in order to get to the CLED configurator tool, you either need to look up in your search bar, Sony Crystal LED configurator tool, or follow the link in the description below. Starting at the top, we have a bunch of different model numbers that you can select, but we're gonna be focused on these four model numbers here, being the BH12, BH15, and the CH12, CH15. Now CH stands for contrast, and this is gonna be our 1300 nit, more residential focus application, which is gonna have that nice glossy black finish. And then on the BH, you're gonna have an anti-reflective finish and a little bit more brightness output. However, for this application, we're gonna go with the CH12, which is gonna be the 1.2 pixel pitch. Now next, you can select your column or row, whether it be an eight by eight, or you can select the overall uh, video wall area and you can input how much surface area you have here. Uh, but we're gonna go off of column and rows being an eight by eight, which is gonna give us native 4K resolution. Now, after we input how many cabinets we wanna go with, you can now take a look at your cabling, whether it be the power cabling path, the signal cabling path, and keep in mind that this will differ depending on going with a 1.2 or a 1.5. As you can see here, when we select between the CH12 and the CH15, it is very important to make sure that we have the correct pixel pitch denoted here. Now that we have the cabling paths down, you can also select what type of image you want displayed on the faux display over here. So depending on your application, we can export this and this image will also export and you can get a good idea of the scale next to the person here, which measures at 5.58 feet. Now, uh, going down, you can actually check a lot of different specifications. First off, the amount of display cabinets we're going to be using. You also have your width and height dimensions here as well, and your diagonal measurement being a 220 inch diagonal display. You also have your resolution and keep in mind your resolution is going to change depending on the pixel pitch we have. So if we go to the CH15, you'll notice the resolution drops a little bit. So make sure depending on the resolution you're going for and now keep in mind these will all display native 4K resolution no matter what size you go with. But considering pixel pitch with overall surface area, that's the name of the game with video wall design and maintaining certain resolutions. You also have 16 by nine aspect ratio here. We can do 235, 240, any type of scope screen as well. We just recommend an offboard video scaler to be able to accommodate getting the perfect fit of that cinema scope aspect ratio. Now you also have your display weight down here as well as power consumption, which can help you plan for wiring the room properly or making sure you're driving enough power to the room if you're doing amplifiers and other type of equipment in that room. Lastly, we have heat dissipation, which is gonna allow for you to plan a little bit better with doing any type of active airflow in the room, again, depending on the rest of the room aesthetic. 
Now let's say this checks out perfectly for what we're going for for our clients. We can now download this as a PDF. And in doing so, we can have a nice and clean exportable PDF, not only for our clients and for our sales teams, but also for the Sony account manager to be able to properly order this hardware and get it to you as quick as possible. And that does it. So now that we understand the different Sony Crystal LED options, as well as how to get this properly configured with our Crystal LED configurator tool, the only thing left is to send this to your local account manager and we can get the ball rolling on ordering. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. We'd love to help in any way. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.